Welcome back to the channel bringing you the latest news from around the world. The wave that could drown a coastline, a silent unseen threat lurking beneath the surface capable of reshaping entire landscapes in a matter of moments. Alaska's sleeping giant, a region of immense beauty but also a place where the earth holds its breath waiting for the inevitable release. The Aleutian Archipelago, a string of volcanic islands, remote, wild and breathtaking, a testament to nature's raw power and enduring beauty, far removed from the hustle and bustle of modern life, stretches across the North Pacific, a lonely sentinel, a place where eagles soar, riding the winds, and sea otters play, oblivious to the danger below. Their playful antics a stark contrast to the immense forces simmering beneath their feet. But beneath this beauty, a hidden world exists. Immense geological forces are building, slowly but surely. The ground here is a battleground, a constant struggle, where the Pacific Plate grinds beneath the North American Plate, an unstoppable collision. This is not a gentle process, it's a cataclysm in slow motion. It's a slow, silent war waged over millennia. Every day, strain accumulates, pressure mounts, bending the seafloor like a loaded spring, stretched to its limit. One day that spring will snap, releasing unimaginable energy. The seafloor will lurch upward, violently shifting, displacing a massive volume of water, an instant ocean upheaval. This is the birth of a mega-tsunami, a force of nature unleashed. It starts as a ripple, almost imperceptible, racing across the ocean at jetliner speed an invisible threat closing in, carrying the energy of thousands of atomic bombs, a devastating potential. On distant shores the first sign is eerie, a deceptive calm. The sea retreats exposing the seabed, a silent warning ignored by many, but for the Aleutians there's no warning, no time to escape, just a violent earthquake, the earth's roar, then a wall of water, an unstoppable force. In minutes entire communities could be erased, swallowed by the sea. The Aleutians are perched on the edge of disaster, a precarious existence, living atop a geological cannon, primed and ready to fire. The forces at work are ancient, powerful, beyond human comprehension, and indifferent to life above, uncaring of the consequences, the only certainty, the inevitable truth. It's not a matter of if, but when, the clock is ticking. This is the edge of the world, where land meets the untamed ocean, and the giant is stirring, awakening from its slumber. The Aleutian Islands, a stunning archipelago, stretch across the northern Pacific, but beneath their scenic beauty lies a formidable geological reality. Why are the Aleutians so dangerous? What makes this region such a hotbed of geological activity? It's all about the Pacific Ring of Fire, a horseshoe-shaped zone encircling the Pacific Ocean. This volatile zone, a site of intense geological activity, is where most of the world's earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur, shaping landscapes and impacting lives. The Aleutians mark the boundary, a critical juncture in this global phenomenon, between the Pacific and North American plates two colossal pieces of Earth's crust. Here, the Pacific Plate, denser than its counterpart, dives beneath the North American continent, forming the Aleutian Subduction Zone and the immense Aleutian Trench, a scar on the ocean floor. The plates lock, bend under immense pressure and store energy for centuries, a slow, relentless process, until it's unleashed in a colossal quake, a sudden and devastating release of pent-up power. The islands themselves are volcanoes, majestic peaks rising from the sea, Born from magma rising through the Earth's crust, they are a direct result of the subduction process. Over 50 active volcanoes dot the chain, a constant reminder of the forces at play. A fiery testament to the battle below, these volcanoes shape the landscape and influence the environment. The Aleutians are a living laboratory of tectonic violence, a place where the Earth's raw power is constantly on display. This is where the planet's power is on full display, a dramatic and awe-inspiring demonstration of geological forces. History has already shown us the Aleutians' destructive power. In 1946, a magnitude 8.6 earthquake struck near Unamak Island. The Scotch Cap Lighthouse, thought indestructible, was obliterated by a 40-meter tsunami. The waves swept away the entire structure and its crew. The tsunami raced across the Pacific, reaching Hawaii in under five hours. In Hilo, waves up to 14 meters high killed 159 people and destroyed much of the city. This event revealed the Aleutians' unique ability to generate massive, far-reaching tsunamis. It led to the creation of the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. The ghosts of Scotch Cap and Hilo remind us, the threat is real and it can strike without warning. What makes the Aleutians' subduction zone so efficient at generating tsunamis? The answer, a shallow angle of collision allowing huge sections of the seafloor to rupture and lift. 
When the plates snap, a vast area of seabed can rise by several meters in seconds, shoving water upward. This creates a tsunami with immense power and reach. Some segments, called seismic gaps, haven't ruptured in centuries, making them the most dangerous. Underwater landslides triggered by quakes can also unleash local tsunamis, compounding the threat. These waves can be devastating for nearby communities, arriving with little or no warning. The Aleutians are primed for disaster, both from tectonic shifts and landslides. If a mega tsunami struck today, unleashing its immense power, the consequences would be global, impacting nations and communities across the entire Pacific Rim. Aleutian and Alaskan towns like Unalaska, nestled along the coastline, would face immediate and overwhelming devastation, with little time to react. Modern building codes, while designed for typical weather events, offer little protection against the sheer force of a towering wall of water, capable of crushing anything in its path. The tsunami would radiate across the Pacific, spreading its destructive energy outwards, threatening North America's west coast, from the rugged shores of Alaska down to California, Vancouver, Seattle, Los Angeles. Hawaii would have hours to evacuate, potentially saving lives, but destruction could be catastrophic leaving a lasting scar on the islands, crippling tourism and infrastructure, and disrupting the lives of countless residents. The ripple would reach, eventually impacting Japan, the Philippines, even Australia and New Zealand, far from the epicenter, causing dangerous surges and flooding threatening coastal communities and ecosystems. Global shipping and trade would be disrupted as ports are closed and shipping lanes become hazardous, with economic impacts felt worldwide, potentially triggering financial instability. The 1946 event was a warning. A stark reminder of the ocean's power, a larger one would be a nightmare for emergency planners, overwhelming resources and stretching response capabilities to their limit. The Aleutian threat is not just regional, confined to Alaska or the immediate vicinity. It's a global hazard, demanding international cooperation and preparedness. The world must be ready, with robust warning systems and well-rehearsed evacuation plans to mitigate the potential devastation. We can't stop earthquakes or tsunamis, but we can prepare. A network of seismometers and dart buoys constantly monitors the Aleutian subduction zone. These instruments detect quakes and tsunamis in real time, triggering rapid alerts. Early warning systems buy precious minutes for evacuation. Coastal communities conduct regular drills and have detailed evacuation plans. Warning sirens, mobile alerts and broadcasts are all part of the defense. Science and public education are our best tools against the inevitable. The giant will stir again, but with vigilance we can save lives.